then let's see which one we like the best. How's it feel? Good. How does that one feel? Feels good. Okay. Wanna switch? So this is the Western Mountaineering Kodiak. I just got it today and just was messing around with it, letting the kids play and see what they thought about it. Spencer really likes this one. Uh, I really like it. Uh, man, you can see how lofty it is, how much loft there is to it. Um, it's a microfiber bag. It's supposed to breathe really well. That's kind of my number one complaint on sleeping bags is that they don't breathe. And after you're hunting and hiking all day, you're sweaty, you know, you're kind of sticky, you get inside, inside a bag, you want it to breathe and not just feel like you're clammy and stuff. So I'm really looking forward to trying this out. This will be probably too hot for a lot of the summer stuff, obviously, at zero degree, but it'll be great for fall and winter uh, camps. I still have my Emion, uh, Cabela's Emion 30 degree bag uh, that and I've used this a ton. I've probably spent over 30 plus nights in this. And uh, still a great bag. Um, it's warm, does the job, and it'll be, st I'll still use this for now for summer, summer, uh, summer camps and spring camps, I guess, or whatever. But this weight on this is like two pounds, 13 ounces. I think this is two pounds, 15. Just a couple ounces more and you get 30 more degrees of warmth. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I'm not sure how, how small it'll pack down. It does have a stuff sack right here, so it should fit in there. Uh, all the Western Mountaineering bags come with a big Western Mountaineering bag to uh, put them in so they don't get compressed all the down and everything. Every Western Mountaineering bag, the people who make them and sew them put them together, their name is right here in front. Um, Two, two people's names right there. They're made in USA. Um, and yeah, great bag. I really debated, so the reason why, like yeah, I really debated on which which bag I was gonna go with. Um, so I do have a 30 degree bag. Uh, it would be nice to have like a 20 degree, and I may get a 20 degree, uh, but it was like if I was gonna invest the money in a high-end bag, I wanna be warm. And I want to be comfortable. The thing I love about my Emion is that the shoulder girth is uh, 64 uh, inches uh, circumference and that's nice and roomy. It feels good. A lot of the other bags are just too tight and then they get really tight in the, in the legs and this one's almost rectangular. I don't know how much you can tell in the video but um, that's something I really like about this bag. This is, I think, 66 inch girth. Uh, this isn't like a formal review on the bag. So if you want the actual specs, you can go to the web their website or to uh, Go Hunt's shop at shop.gohunt.com. Uh, we just added this bag to the shop as well. And uh, yeah, so if you want all those details, you can get them there. But basically, it's nice and wide. Plenty of room to move around. I think it'll be great for what I'm looking for. So I'll try to do a video down the road in the future after I actually put it to use and I can say this is a great bag. But first impression is it's gonna be solid, it's gonna be warm, and uh, I think it'll be worth it. So let me know if you have any general questions. Uh, again, I haven't used this bag yet. And uh, if you wanna get your own, you can get it at gohunt.com on their shop at shop.gohunt.com. Anyways, thanks for watching.